Welcome back to World Drum Club, everybody. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher, and we're going to continue with our series on playing congas and bongos together. Uh, this is a little rhythm that is sort of reminiscent of bata rhythms or um, a Afro-Cuban drumming ensemble that you might hear people playing um, cajones, congas, bata. Uh, I've done lessons or videos on bata. Uh, also, Afro-Cuban 6-8 clave or 12-8 clave. Um, we're going to base this on the Afro-Cuban 6-8 uh, clave or 12-8 clave. And I have videos on that. I'll do a brief review right now, but we're going to use that as a foundation for what I just did. Um, so here we go. What are we doing? We're playing the bongos up here. Um, also, this rhythm is in 12-8. What, what we mean is it's in um, 12 eighth notes that are grouped in four groups of three. So we're counting one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're playing the first two of each grouping, starting on the low drum. In this, in this case, this is not a hard and fast rule, but this is what I'm doing in this example. So we're playing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, bop, beat, bop, beat, bop, beat, bop, beat. And that gives this rhythm pattern a real buoyant feel, a buoyancy, because we're playing that second note of the triplet of the group of three, the second one, which is the mbat, mbat, mbat. It gives it this kind of lift. Um, so that's what's happening in the bongos. In the congas, Actually, if you know the Afro-Cuban 12-8 bell pattern, super simple, because that's what I'm playing, the rhythm. One, two, da, 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 da. All right, so if you're not familiar with that, you might want to pause this lesson or you watch another video that will help get you the foundation you need to come back and get the most out of this video. But that's the Afro-Cuban 12-8 bell pattern. Uh, it has different names, but that's what that is. Uh, there's lots, lots that's been written and published about that. So you can research uh, that separately uh, as you need to get up to speed to get what you need from this video. All right, let's combine these now. I think for the beginning, for let's call it the level one step, you can just play the quarter notes or the dotted quarters, technically. The, the beat, right? A one, two, three, four. And then add the conga or the, just the rhythm, Afro-Cuban 12A bell pattern. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's step one. Step two is we're going to add that second note on the bongos. And this will be challenging for some of you, but that's great. We want to be challenged. So instead of playing the quarter note or the dotted quarter, we're going to now play the two first notes of each set of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's level two. So that might take you some time. Slow it down as you need. You can actually watch any YouTube video at half speed or three quarter speed, half speed, double speed. There's lots of speeds that you can choose from. You can click down in settings down here or viewing. I don't know what it's called, but it's down there and you can slow it down. So you might want to do that. And then I'll talk like that. No. I'm not going to do that right now. Let's then change the sounds of the congas. I'm going to keep the bongos there. I'm going to just change the tones on the congas. 
Let's do it with one drum first. Uh, let's use the conga over here. Let's use the, or the tumba. Let's use a low drum. So I'll play the Afro-Cuban 12-8 bell pattern on the low drum on the conga or tumba. And then I'm going to play the bongos. Same thing we just did. One, two, here we go. So I'm starting to add some complexity, some richness, starting to sound more musical. Now, let's take it to the next level. And that will be combining both drums and playing different sounds. Opens, basically opens and slaps. I'm really not doing basses, especially because I've got the drums flat on the floor right now. You could do bass tones if, you're, if you have the drums elevated or tipped. For now, I'm doing tones and slaps on both congas with my right hand, left hand is on the bongos doing the triplet pattern. Let's do it. One, two, one tita, two tita. So let me give you one pattern that we'll call standard pattern uh, that you can practice. And for patrons, I will give you the notation at patreon.com slash Kalani. So if you're a supporter of the channel and you're signed up, you'll get the notation for this pattern uh, with this post at patreon.com slash Kalani. So here it is. I'm going to play it. There might be some small variations and that's fine. All right, here we go. So here's your kind of standard pattern. This is what I started with uh, at the beginning of this video. A one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's what I have for you. I hope this is fun and interesting to you guys. I uh, appreciate you being here and watching. As always, please support us at patreon.com slash Kalani. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell so you get notifications and um, enjoy playing congas and bongos together. All right, I'm Kalani. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in a future lesson.